my name is Michelle and welcome to another tutorial from Django for Noobs and today we're going to learn about signals so what are signals signals are basically a request sent from uh, models um, to a bunch of code uh, so uh, how this works is that uh, anytime you save a new row in your database that, that's a new model uh, that's an event all right you save a, a, a row or you delete a row anything that's an event and uh, that will trigger uh, an action and that action is going to be a function that we're going to write on the signals file all right so basically there are a bunch of uh, different kinds of signals so post save pre save post delete pre delete these are self explanatory i mean when you're saving a data um, do you want um, the bunch of code that you've written do you want them to be run before the data is saved or after the data is saved or before the data is deleted or after the data is deleted um, I've only used post save pre save post delete pre delete only this for till now uh, I'm sure it's a very vast subject but um, I think this video is going to give you a basic idea of what uh, Django signals can do so recently I've been working on uh, a Q&A website uh, something like Quora or Reddit maybe uh, and over there I faced a few problems so that's what I'm gonna use to teach you how I solve that so let's suppose we're gonna create a Q&A website so obviously there's going to be a question model which is going to have um, let's say a body of text right and it's also going to contain uh, another field called answers which is going to count how many answers it has all right so the default is going to be zero and we're gonna give blank true null true because when we're gonna save a question we're not going to uh, provide any values to this field so um, this is not a mandatory field anymore um, I'm still using Python 2 surprise surprise so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use Unicode def Unicode um, next we're gonna create the answer the answer model and this is going to have a foreign key to the question All right, so we can identify for which question uh, did a user post this answer for and uh, it's also going to contain a body of text And that's pretty much it. Um, let me let me just copy this. Great. Let's hit the terminal. We're gonna say make migrations, and then migrate. So now we have those. In the admin.py file, we are going to import the models so that we can do admin site register and then these two models so that we can work with these two models from the Django admin. I've already created a user, an admin user called admin. So I'm going to log in using the credentials that I've selected and let's add a question. Let's say, What is your name? Let's say, Great. So we have now have a question. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add an answer to this question. So let's select the foreign key over here. And let's say I'm gonna give my name. Right. Now uh, let's say uh, you are querying all the questions and you want to you want to show uh, beside the name of the question, uh, you want to show how many answers it has. Uh, for that, you need to query, uh, use the foreign key and query the answers too, and then use the count function on that. And that's going to put a lot of pressure on the database if your database is uh, quite big, like you have millions of entries or something like that. So what I'm going to do is every time uh, someone posts an answer to a question, I am going to increase this value by one. So you don't have to, uh, if you're trying to retrieve how many answers it has and not the actual answers, you don't need to use the foreign key anymore and it reduces a lot of stress from the database trust me guys so what I'm gonna do is when someone posts an answer I'm gonna increase this by one when someone deletes it 
delete an answer, I'm going to decrease this by 1. Alright, so let's delete this answer right now because this didn't actually serve our purpose. Let's see if I remember the code. Um, so what I'm going to do is, I am in my alpha directory over here, my alpha is the app name. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a directory called signals. And over there, I am going to create a file called underscore underscore init underscore underscore dot pi. This file basically, alright, but it's, it's going to be blank. And then I'm going to create another file called handlers. And this is going to contain all the necessary codes. So um, over here in the signal section, if you go down, uh, to this connecting to signals sent by specific senders you can see they are importing these two libraries so that's what I'm going to import uh, but I'm going to use post save because um, I want the answer count to increase after an answer is uh, saved not before so I'm going to use the post save signal and we also need a receiver and I'm going to show you what you need that for so I'm going to import models uh, answer model right and uh, that's it so they imported this to the model and all right so now we're gonna create our function so let's create a function um, add answer count so that's our function right this will take a bunch of parameters the first one is instance the second one is created instance is the correct instance of uh, the model that's been saved right and we also need keyword arguments so what we're gonna do is we're gonna say if created that means if a new entry is created because you don't wanna increase your answers count every time someone saves the same answer you know edits the answer and saves it because that's basically the same answer you don't want to increase the count so if created means if you have a new entry then you pick the current instance of the model that is the answer model and you go to the quest question of the model you see that there's a foreign key over here and the answers field will be increased by one and then you save that now you may ask how are we going to how is Django going to know that this function will run after um, an answer is saved and how is it going to use this so for that we're going to use a receiver so this receiver is um, pretty handy we can use it as a decorator that's easier in my opinion there's another way I think uh, I don't know how to do that anyways so what I'm doing is I'm creating a receiver. It says all right, and uh, I'm I'm providing two parameters. One is post save the signal type, and the other other one is sender. So this receiver knows that if um, a signal is sent from answer, it's going to check which signal is it um, capturing. So this receiver is capturing post save signal. So it's going to say if answer has a new entry and it sends a signal after the entry is saved post save I am going to run this function right okay so this this will only increase the answer so let's see if it works um, let's get another answer what's your name Michelle is saving go back questions it does not all right um, there's a bunch of things that you need to do in order for the signals code to run and uh, let's see if I remember those inside the init file of the signals right this file we are going to say author is equal to what's I'm going to my name and on the init file of the application outside signals right we are going to write something we're going to say default app config and we are going to go to apps.py this is Django 1.9 guys um, this file is automatically generated so the 
app config for this application is alpha config it's basically the app name and then config all right so we're going to copy that and paste it over here but before that i'm going to say alpha dot apps dot alpha config all right so app name app folder and then apps file and then within that we have a app configuration that's called alpha config okay. and um, over here we're going to say def ready and we're going to import alpha dot signals dot handlers we're going to import the file that contains the signals um you can ask me why i'm doing it unfortunately guys i'm just learning and i make these videos while i learn so i really don't know i um <laughs> i um i got this from stack overflow i think i'm not i'm not sure um so it's it's pretty it's pretty simple guys it's not very complicated i think i remember it correctly so you put one entry over here the author inside the init file of signals folder um, you put another entry over here that says what is the default app config and you go to apps.py and see what is the default app config and you put it over here and over here you override the ready function and then you import the uh, file that contains the signals code now let's see if this thing works let's add an answer so I'm gonna say what is the name what is Michelle Let's save and go to questions. Voila, it has one. All right. Um, I think. Uh, yeah. All right. So now let's let's close all this and create the other function. So we're gonna need another receiver that's going to contain a post delete signal. So this receiver is for post delete and the sender is again answer. Right? So it says uh, when answer has an entry deleted, after it deletes the row post delete, I'm going to run this function. So it's going to say remove answer count. And, uh, it's going to have instance. So it's a delete function, it doesn't have created. And it's going to have quirks. Uh, we're gonna say instance that is the answer instance questions answers field minus equals to one and then instant question save we're saving the question model over here that's why uh, we don't, we're not doing instance or save all right I think that should work if we if we go to answers again and uh, delete it come back to questions there you go it's deleted so that's basically it guys it has helped me uh, build a demo Q&A site and I hope you can use it in other projects too maybe you're going to build a Q&A website maybe you're going to build a maybe a notification function for your like Facebook maybe I don't know I don't know but it I, I have found it pretty handy and um, I thought I should share it with you guys <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, if you have any questions about the code, um, you're obviously going to find it find a GitHub link of the code under the YouTube video description. And um, that's it. If you like the video, like and subscribe, guys. Thanks.